Hey everybody, so let's discuss function prototypes. A function prototype is a function and declaration without a body before we declare the main function. It ensures that calls to a function are made with the correct number and type of arguments. It has some benefits, which we'll discuss later. Basically, this is another way in which we can declare and define functions. In the last few topics, when we were declaring functions, we were doing so before the main function. So let's say void, and we have a function named hello. And there will be two arguments, an array of characters named name and int age. And what I would like this function to do is print a message using our name and age. So hello name. You are age years old. So what we're going to do is now move this function from before the main function to after the main function. And let's declare some name and age variables. So char name, use your first name, and int age, make up some age. Now I'm going to invoke my hello function, but pass in an incorrect number of arguments. Now here's one of the benefits of a function prototype. It's going to ensure that we have the correct number of arguments when we invoke a function. So the correct arguments for our hello function are an array of characters and an integer. What if I'm missing one of these arguments? Let's say we only pass in a name and then invoke this function. So this is going to result in unexpected behavior. And we do have a warning here, conflicting types for hello, but this program will still compile and execute. So here's the result. Hello, bro, you are 1,512,352 years old. And if I run this again, this will probably be a different number. So this will result in unexpected behavior. We're not ensuring that calls to a function are made with the correct arguments. One way in which we can do that is to add a function prototype before the main function. And to add a function prototype to a given function, we will declare that function but not give it a body before the main function. And then we will later add a body and define what this function is going to do. So before the main function, we will type the return type of this function, void, the name of the function, hello, and then add the data type and the order of arguments. So we have a character array and an integer, then end it with a semicolon. So this is a function prototype. It ensures that calls to a function are made with the correct arguments. So now if I attempt to call the hello function with only one argument when two are required, Instead of a warning, we'll receive an error, and it states that there are too few arguments to function hello. So this program will not compile and run successfully, which is what we want, because we made a mistake. And if I were to add the correct arguments now, well then this program is going to compile and run fine. So here's some important notes regarding function prototypes. Many C compilers do not check for parameter matching. That's why this program was still able to compile and run without a function prototype, even though we were missing arguments. And that can result in unexpected and unwanted behavior, such as saying that I was over a million years old. So a function prototype causes the compiler to flag an error if arguments are missing. You can write the functions before the main function. That's okay too. But a few advantages of using a function prototype is that it's easier to navigate a program when the main function is at the top of your file. It also helps with debugging, and it's commonly used in header files, which is something we need to discuss in a future topic. So yeah, that's basically a function prototype. We're going to define any functions after the main function now, and before the main function, we will declare a function prototype, one function prototype for each function we have besides the main function. And this ensures that we have the correct number and type of arguments, which will prevent any unexpected behavior. It's basically just another way to declare functions that you may run into in the future. So yeah, those are function prototypes. If you would like a copy of this code, I will post this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, those are function of prototypes in C.